Hi everyone, I'm Jonald Page and today I'm going for a technique that I've already showed in a previous video and I'm going to do it again. I'm going to start with magazine pages this time. This is from National Geographic. Uh, some of them from new ones, some from the 70s and I'm going to tear them and distress them with nail a uh, polish remover. So I'm going to start tearing them and start gluing them and I'm going to explain while I do it about the technique because last time there were lots and lots of questions. Now I'm only going to use a glue stick and it's important that the glue will only be uh, on the underside. We are not putting any kind of glue on top. So I'm just uh, going to tear and it really doesn't matter. Now for this technique to work, it doesn't work on uh, all ki kinds of magazines. Some they, they do, some they don't. You need to test it uh, before by taking a, either acetone or nail polish remover and going on top of it and see if it removes the color. Most of the time it will re re remove it completely and that's uh, what I'm going uh, for and sometimes you will get this uh, result which I also love and it's a really interesting uh, background to work on. So you need to test it first. Now it doesn't have to be magazines, it can be brochures, and all kinds of junk mail again you need to test it now uh, last time I've used acetone and some people got <laughs> really nervous about it I don't know why because here that's what we used to at least until several w years ago that's what we used to remove nail polish only in the last years they've put in all kinds of uh, nail po polish removers uh, to replace the acetone but basically I think they are smelly as much as the acetone only cost twice uh, sometimes more so but use whatever you have and what you are comfortable with and use it in a aired a room so if it's really bothering you the smell so basically as I said a uh, glue only on the underside not on top uh, it doesn't need to be sealed it really uh, doesn't matter where everything goes and as you can see it, these are just random uh, pieces that I tore if you want another kind of pattern you can go for it if you want uh, stri stripes or any kind of other uh, pattern on your page you can make it it really doesn't matter the only thing is that as I said you need to test first otherwise you don't know how it will work and if it will uh, succeed <laughs> so I need to cover the whole page with this which is going to take some time and the only thing that I do try to do is use the straight edges to put to glue down two straight edges of my uh, journal just to save time on cutting the excess otherwise I'm just really gluing randomly pieces here so I'm going to continue and when I'm finished I'll be back I'm back so I'm this background is already beautiful to me you can also work uh, do something like this and stencil on top of it and make an completely another uh, thing but uh, today we are going to strip the paint and I'm taking this cotton pad with nail polish remover and going to go all over the pieces 
and as I said use what's uh, good for you and here we go now I can also decide to not strip the paint completely and just leave the hints of this blue and greens or I can uh, put more uh, of the nail polish remover and strip more of it again this you need to decide what you want to do and if you it's the if it's the first time you are attempting it I suggest to take to do samples before test it and see what you like so as you can see I'm leaving a little bit of color I'm not uh, taking everything out I really like it now I have some corners lifting and it seems that I didn't put enough glue but I can fix it later right now I am more uh, interested in stripping the paint and you can also decide that you don't go all uh, down to the edges and leave the edges darker again you can play with it however you like now the last time I've done this I've used paper napkins on top because they are uh, translucent and then you get an image but you also get the details in the background so it was quite nice I'm not uh, sure yet what I'm going to use on top um, I wasn't planning on using paper napkin this time but we'll see <laughs> now this is not the same thing as citrusol yeah, citrus solve, as at least from what I've seen on YouTube, is another effect and it only works on uh, National Geographic. And we don't have citrus solve here and it's not something that I can order, it's a chemical, so not to mention the shipment, so <laughs> it's not rele relevant for me, the citrus solve. Okay, I'm in love with this... Uh, background with all this uh, that's going on I'm going to let this dry and all the fumes to uh, evaporate and then I'll come back I'm back so I've got this and I want to add detail to my uh, background I've got some stamps I want I've taken this one I've got Momento Tuxedo Black it's a permanent a ink pad and this is going to be quite random and only as I said to add some detail and interest to the background I'm quite doing it's quite random what I'm doing right now yeah and just maybe a little bit here and here yeah and I want some text let's see again I don't care what it says I'm just another a detail in the background it doesn't have to be text you can put whatever you want whatever stamps you have good enough for me now I wanted a profile here um, like a silhouette and I've, I've, I have this uh, stencil I made these are quite easy to make you just pick a, 
an image from a magazine you trace the outline and then you can make a stencil you can make a mask I've kept the what I've cut out of the cardboard this time I've done it on a cardboard and not acetate and then you have a, the pieces to play with so I've already traced one on this uh, Bristol paper and I want to stamp it I've got lots of a butterfly stamps that I want to stamp all over I'm not cutting it yet First I want to stamp all around it and only then I'm going to to cut it. So just picking one stamp and this is Distress Ink Peacock Feather. And again quite random and also going outside the lines because I'm going to cut it from this page so I want to fill all this with butterflies I've got broken china I don't know how, if how if you can see much of difference between the two colors but no, it doesn't really matter to me as I said I just want the whole silhouette to be filled with butterflies changing maybe I'll even use the black or at least this, this smaller stamp they can overlap it really doesn't matter to me at least <laughs> I, I just want this old silhouette filled with butterflies so I'm just going to continue doing this and I want some butterflies on the rest of my page. I've got these butterflies cut from uh, book pages. I was given them in Happy Mail. And I think they will be nice to use here. Uh, but I want to color them and I think the fastest way to go about it is with some sprays I'm going to use my homemade sprays they are from gel food coloring and water and there is no recipe no measurements I'm just uh, putting a few drops of gel food coloring and water and then I'm testing it and if it's uh, strong enough that's okay if not then I'm just uh, adding more gel food coloring so I'm going to spray this and I hope I won't make a lot of mess here. Okay. <laughs> so I thought it would be easy, but not quite. Okay. We'll manage. And I think just another color. Let's see. Yeah. And a little bit more of the yellow. I want them with intense color. I think this is it. I'm going to let this dry. And I still need to complete this. So I'll be back. I'm back. So 
I've got this uh, portrait, silhouette, whatever, and I've got my butterflies. Now I want, first of all, I want darker edges to the silhouette, so I'm just going to take an ink pad. You can take also a makeup sponge if it's easier for you. And I'm just going around my image to darken the edges. If you have an image with little details that you can't get in, you just take a, something like this, a sponge from a eyeshadow, supposed to be for eyeshadow, and just go inside wherever you want, like this. Yeah. So... Not only I wanted this to have a darker edges, I want some uh, shadowing um, all around this. So I'm taking the mask from my stencil, this one, I'm putting it where this is going to be. And let's see, this is just this is regular ink pad this one momento and this i don't even remember where i've picked it this is a permanent ink and i'm taking this makeup brush and i'm going like this and i hope you will see in a minute so if i'm lifting it i get a little bit of shadowing here now I'm doing a, a very uh, subtle shadowing, I'm not looking for a lot of black here. And maybe a little bit more here in the corner. It's very subtle, you don't have to do it, <laughs> just me and my uh, crazy ideas. Yeah, and the image is going here. I want to try and just darken the corners a little bit. I think I need to re-ink this pad. So just adding a little bit more to the edges and the corners. Nothing to it. Let's see. So decided that I wanted a little bit more strong and I need to glue this piece here which is lifting now okay I can also leave it as is but <laughs> I want this one full of butterflies let's put just a little bit of glue here where it's lifted and now glue here okay this is going back here now, butterflies. I want butterflies. I'm going to put the, uh, the ones that have more than, more interest in them in terms of color. I'm not going to use all of them. Let's see. I think, yeah. Maybe another one here. Yep. Yeah. So, going to glue this down, 
and we'll see i think this is it but i'm not sure yet so i i'll glue this down and i'll be back okay so everything is glued uh, and in place i really like it the only thing i want to add to this uh, spread is a splatter i've got some yellow acrylic paint here and a fan brush i'm going to add a little bit of water and just splatter around my page the only thing i don't want is this silhouette to get splatter so i'm just going to cover it with the mask i think maybe just a little bit more yeah so Ooh, I like it and I think this is done I just need this to dry lifting it and yeah this is it I'll bring it closer to the camera so you can see what's happening here and here we go it just needs to to dry I really like the color that's going on here don't know how much of it you can see we are losing daylight <laughs> uh, but nonetheless i hope you uh, can appreciate what's going on here so this is it thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments below i'll be seeing you in my next video bye for now